I looked at my phone, there was a missed call. It was Bishop David Oyedegba. And it was getting to 12, midnight. I said, ah, Papa might be sleeping. I just called. One guy, he pick. He said, the Lord go with you. The love I saw from Bishop Oyedegba when I was attacked, I didn't see it from any minister in Nigeria. Hear what Apostle Johnson Suleiman of Omega Fire Ministry said about Bishop David Oedipo. Bishop David Oedipo has been an amazing man of God, even to those that are not connected to him. Okay, what I meant by that statement is that those that are not direct sons or direct mentee to him. Hear what Apostle Johnson Suleiman said when he was about to be assassinated many years ago and how Bishop David Oedipo advised him to keep on going amidst critics and dragging hmm. you see whenever i say something as a man of god they are also men also you see apostle Suleiman explained a lot of things that was been up on his mind during this period because he was even given an assignment by god but he was scared not that maybe he was scared of death but he was scared that ah, what could have happened for someone to have tried this but amidst this controversial thought one thing the lord did was the lord sent a bishop of the video to him okay what if bishop of the had not deliver the message that the Lord sent because some might be taking that okay maybe it was God that sent him you know at times also it takes the years of God and years of man for some certain things to come to pass kindly watch this video and also let us know your thoughts in the comment section the assassination attempt I was to preach in Liberia my wife said honey they're not going anywhere stay here first I had a program in America I cancelled it I shifted Liberia I was panicking one night I'd already got into where I was to take off from the airport I was my worry was not attacks or anything my worry was what is going on who can come to this point i didn't do business with anybody i didn't take anything from anybody i'm not involved in any deal nothing you know before certain things happen you will say maybe there's a deal there's something you did you took people's money or there's somebody's angry that you took something nothing i used to think you must have done something for people to want your life i was worried that night I prayed and prayed and prayed some minutes to 10. No, some minutes to 9. I didn't hear nothing from the Lord. I prayed and prayed. I didn't hear nothing from the Lord. I just lay down. I said, Father, this is Liberia I'm going. Lord, I'm not bothered without somebody come from the crowd to shoot me or something. I'm not bothered. I've, I've, I'm ready to sacrifice my life for this gospel. But oh, what is this? I, have, I sense it is coming from this but I need a proper clarity so that these people cannot deny no word and I lay down almost depressed I was almost calling my wife saying I'm coming back let Liberia wait as I lay back I slept off when I opened my eyes the Lord said look at your phone I looked at my phone there was a missed call it was Bishop David Oyedegba and it was getting to 12 midnight i said ah, papa might be sleeping i just called one guy he pick he said the lord go with you he said greater miracles he said greater signs he said i had a prompting in my spirit to call you the lord i break down in tears he said the lord go with you and he began to speak words over my life i went on my knees i said amen papa amen papa amen papa he said god bless you i went on the phone this is what i was praying and i didn't hear nothing from listen 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 ah listen Bishop Oyedipo no the love I saw from Bishop Oyedipo when I was attacked I didn't see it from any minister in Nigeria he didn't have my number 
he sent me his number he said they should give it to me people were calling me bishop Abiyo, i know bishop Abiyo's number we're call and he began to pray for me the next day he called me again such a man who am i called me again he said they will not succeed he said they can't quench that light tears came out of my eyes when you see men prosper the principle of love is a motivating factor no wonder bishop Udipo was celebrated that much during his 70th birthday that is to say he has been reaching out to men even that they are not his sons or his mentee you know what i mean is that they are not direct son or direct mentee to him see that's how a believer needs to live you see all this word goes a long way also you might be an influence to someone over there your word of encouragement goes a long way this believer let us try to emulate these things from our fathers of faith you see this is how it works if you have a younger one or you see someone that you know that you have experienced what that person is experiencing right now you see your word of encouragement goes a long way so that was what i meant in this video thank you for watching this video also let you know your thoughts in the comment section